गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम सूरज अग्रवाल एंड यू आर वाचिंग योर फेवरेट यूट्यूब चैनल गार्डनिंग इज माई पैसन फ्रेंड्स जून जुलाई एंड अगस्त दिस थ्री मंथ्स आर बेस्ट टाइम फॉर टेकिंग कटिंग्स ऑफ कृष्ण थमाम और गुलदाउदी और गुलदाउरी और चंद्रमलिका दीज आर दन ऑफ द फाइनेस्ट एंड बेस्ट फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स दैट यू कैन गेट फ्लावर्स इन द मंथ ऑफ नवंबर एंड डिसम्बर एंड दिस इज द जुलाई एंड अगस्त यू कैन टेक कटिंग्स ऑफ द मदर प्लान दीज आर माई ओल्ड मदर प्लान वेर एवर लॉर्ड्स ऑफ लॉर्ड्स ऑफ ब्रांचेस ऑफ कम आउट इफ यू टेक फ्लावर्स फ्रॉम हेयर द फ्लावर साइज विल बी वेरी वेरी स्मॉल एंड द फ्लावर नंबर will be very less so rather you have to take cuttings around 3 inch to 4 inch long cutting you take cutting grow them in sand that i will describe you how to take cuttings and afterwards you transplant in a small pot and then you can grow in bigger pot so first thing you have to take a sharp blade new blade and take cutting this kind and uh, remove the lower side leaves just like this how i am removing just watch me properly and then you can learn the technique how to remove and don't damage this stem portion because from this area you have to take roots from here that, that will take root and i am removing the small lower uh, leaves here so this is the technique of taking cutting and you have to grow them in sand this is river sand this is a coarse river sand yellow river sand that we use in construction purpose building construction that sand we use but you have to wash it properly Four to five times you have to wash in water so that you remove all this uh, dirt from here, and then you can grow. And uh, for growing and taking pot, you have to take a flat pot wherever four to five small holes should be there at the bottom, so that the water can come out from here. So this kinds of pot, if you don't have this flat pot, you can grow in other kinds of normal pot or container also. And the pot holes you are uh, uh, covering with the holes with a small piece of cloth so that water can come out, but uh, the sand should not come out from here. So this is the first thing you have to do. Now time to wash the sand properly. Just watch me how I am washing it properly in a uh, tap water or any tubewell water. Just wash it at least five to six times because you have to remove all the dirt because the dirt possesses all the bacteria, fungal spores. If you keep on this, then the stem cut is maybe rotten. So you have to wash it properly and clean it the sand. After cleaning it, you have to fill this uh, pot, this flat pot with this sand, uh, river sand. Just watch how I am filling it. After proper filling it, uh, even it properly, make it a even, and then what we have to do, you have to take because we am I'm growing to grow at least ten to fifteen uh, cuttings from here. So let me take cuttings with the sharp blade. I am taking cutting and removing the lower leaf from here. And uh, after taking cutting, as many you want. but uh, don't uh, try to grow more than 50 cuttings in one pot because that would be very very dense so you have to uh, keep some space between the two cuttings and if you make it very very crowded or dense then there may be some fungal infection so this is very very, very important thing so there should be some little gap between the two cuttings and i am removing the lower side leaves and after taking proper cutting i will be growing around 10 cuttings from here and one thing i tell you if you grow cuttings you have to uh, grow cuttings with the help of rooting hormone powder that is available in the market this kind of rooting hormone powder is available in the market this is cutting head around 30 to 40 rupees if you uh, buy one vial that will run for hour and make holes with this small stick or with this screw driver make hole in the sand and the bottom portion of the stem just stick some powder here this is the rooting hormone powder if you don't have rooting hormone powder then you can grow without rooting hormone powder also but if you grow with a rooting hormone powder the, there should be certainly you will grow immense number of roots and the roots uh, plants uh, cutting will be successful 100% successful and it will take around 12 to 15 days to take root properly and one thing i tell you you have to water the sand properly every day 
or at least uh, in one day's gap every alternative you have to water the sand because sand should not be dried up so if you the sands are dried up then the cuttings will also dried up so you have to be very very cautious keep uh, always moist sand and after 15 days you will see that will take root and after that you have to take out the cuttings from here then you can transplant in one inch pot in only in plain garden soil and afterwards you can transplant in three inch pot or six inch pot later later on so this is the method hope you enjoyed the video if you at all like the video please give it a like with a thumbs up if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel thank you very much